Hey everyone, Rico Roxas one here making a video on, well, as you can read from the title, it's official, it's time to say goodbye to the Xbox One. You may have noticed over on the shelf, I uh, took the Xbox One off of the shelf and I put my Sega Saturn over there. I'm going to rearrange that shelf, because I, well, you know, since I have the Series X, there's no need for an Xbox One, because all the games I can play on the Series X are ones that were for the Xbox One as well. So other than that, <clears throat> this is the games I have that I downloaded off of Xbox Live Arcade, except for the Halo one and Forza Horizon 5. Halo, I have a physical copy, and Forza is a game that came with the system. Other than that, the rest of the games I downloaded off of Xbox Live Arcade. So, other than that, this thing has one terabyte of storage. I love this Xbox Series X. The load times for all these games are really quick. In fact, I think they're even quicker than the one on the Xbox One. In fact, um, here is the Xbox One. That's the system that I'm going to be getting rid of. So this is the uh, moment where I show it one last time, and then it gets shipped off to a friend or a family member. It's time to say goodbye to this old Xbox One. Thank you for all your year or two of playing games like Rare Replay, Halo 5, and other games on there. It still works. I got this from the thrift shop for only 75 bucks. It was just the console and the AC adapter. It didn't come with any uh, HDMI cables, which I had tons of those. A controller I had to get from Entertain Mart. The uh, disk drive didn't work, but I mainly used it like the uh, digital only S console, you know, where that did not have a disk drive. I used it to play Rare Replay, which had 30 games on it, which 30 games in one package is awesome. So that's totally worth the, <clears throat> the price tag for re replay. I mostly use it to play Jet Force Gemini, uh, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, and a bit of Conker's Bad Fur Day. The other games are fine. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, I'm actually very impressed with this system. I actually had to take this to my local game repair shop to get it fixed. The disk drive wasn't reading originally. They fixed it and that works perfectly. So I'll go ahead and show you around the system on what this thing has. I also took off the stickers that were on here. There was a green sticker here and then there was a price tag that said $75 on there. I used some Goo Gone and got rid of the remnants of the sticker and now it's working just fine looking much nicer. The front, this is the LED power button, this is the eject button, the sync button's over here, there's a little gear here to help you manually eject the console. <clears throat> the vents on the side, you could stand this up vertically or horizontally if you choose to stand it up like this, or you could choose to stand it up the other way, whichever you prefer. I don't know how people stand their Xbox One vertically, most people I know have it horizontally. So, I don't know. How do you stand your Xbox One console? Probably this way because the USB port over here. Now let me show you the back side. Ethernet. RF out. No. IR out. Infrared out. My mistake. Connect. Two USB ports. HDMI in to connect another system or the cable of satellite. Surround sound, HDMI out, that's to the TV, and the power connector. The series, oh, the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X also have the HDMI in, so you can connect other stuff to it, which is a very nice feature. Some people didn't like that feature, but I thought it was pretty cool. This is the uh, AC adapter that came with it. So, which is actually pretty important. So I was able to fire it up and see if it got any display and it worked just fine. Although I did have to take it apart 
the uh, fan, not the console. Because the fan kept making a grinding noise, but now it doesn't do that anymore. And this is the plug that goes into the wall. It's nothing too special. So, I also have a spare HDMI cable that I'm going to throw in with it. And here's a controller that's going to be bundled with it. It's the normal Xbox One controller. I mean, this is a nice controller, but I much prefer the Series controller. It has much nicer feeling to it. The triggers are nicer as well. They have a nice ridge, well, bumps on them. These are glossy. I don't know. I mean, these are nice. But I much prefer the ones on this one. And there's also a share button, or a screenshot button. So you can take a screenshot, which is a very nice feature. Both of them have the uh, connector on the bottom, although earlier controllers did not have that connector. You actually had to use the adapter for that, which is pretty stupid, honestly. They should have had it on there to begin with, but what do you expect? Another thing I like, this uses a Type-C connector, not a micro connector even though the batteries, the rechargeable battery I use has the connector on it. But other than that, yeah. The Xbox Series X, let me just say, I love the system. Low tens are great and other stuff. I was also able to get all my collection on here. Although the uh, transfer for some of them took a while. It took basically throughout last night to this morning, well, you know, to give you an idea, I didn't do a time lapse and I didn't do the Ethernet cable trick, which is something I probably should have done and it probably would have been quicker. But other than that, I'm very impressed with this Xbox Series X. Mainly because, well, a friend of mine has the uh, PlayStation 5. I wanted to be different and go for the Xbox Series X. I love this system. I don't think I'm going to get rid of this anytime soon. I'm willing to get rid of my Xbox One, like what I did with my original Xbox to get a 360, because I need the 360 to play my original Xbox and my Xbox 360 games. And there's no way to play original Xbox games on this with the discs. So, But that would have been a nice feature if it was the case. And who knows, maybe later down the road I'll do a test with... Uh, physical Xbox 360 and original Xbox game going here. Wouldn't you want to see that? Well, I know I would. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Regrox says one saying bye-bye Xbox One. Thank you for all your uh, time of playing uh, Rare Replay on you, but now it's time I upgrade to the Series X. And let me just say, it was worth it.